Paula, I came up with a really yummy recipe today. The ingredients are as follows. Roasted corn that I got from Trader Joe's. In my particular case, I had about a quarter of a bag left. However, you can put in a whole half bag or a full bag if you'd like. Just depends on how much you want to make. The other ingredient that I use in this particular case, challenge sea salt and cracked pepper butter. So I didn't have to add salt or pepper to this recipe. However, if you use regular um, butter or margarine or oil, two tablespoons, then you want to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper to the recipe. Okay, next you want to have some um, white corn or yellow corn whatever one you want and a pound package okay and then also pearl onions pearl onions in this particular case I bought them from Trader Joe's um, but um, you can use any brand of course that you have or that you may want to use I used about um, 10 to 12 uh, pearl onions in this recipe finally I have sugar okay now what I did is I took my iron skillet or whatever type of pan that you have, you take your iron skillet, you put the two tablespoons of uh, butter um, in, the, in the pan um, that's already preheating and then you melt down your butter in the pan, okay? Next, you want to take uh, two teaspoons of sugar, okay? Add that to the pan. And then you need to kind of stir it so that it um, can mix in together real good with the butter. So you stir it and let it melt down together. And after it's melted down, then you want to add your onions. Once again, it was about, um, you know, 10 to 12 onions that I added to the pan, to the butter. And when you're caramelizing, um, you want to stir it every so often. Um, basically, um, I didn't let it caramelize till it got brown. However, um, I just wanted to um, bring out the, with, let the heat and that sugar bring out the extra uh, flavor in the onions as well as the sweetness so you just stir that every so often and there you see them cooking in the in and I'm stirring it here then I added my roasted corn to the pan okay and I stirred the onions and the roasted corn together okay stir that I have a spatula there so okay stirring it together and then I added my regular corn and it's once again frozen corn so after I added them together then I mixed it all together with my spatula or spoon and then I covered it with a lid and I just basically let it cook for um, about 25 minutes on very low heat as you can kind of see there I wanted the corn to get thoroughly um, cooked um, from its frozen state and then also for the onions to really mix in and then here is my final um, my final um, in final recipe completed as you can see um, you, ha see you can see the little bit of roasted corn gives it a slight uh, little dark and yellow dark yellow color and then I use white corn so that's why it's white in color um, uh, but it has a little color there and then with the onions um, adding that little extra pop to it and um, actually very very delicious recipe um, caramelizing the onions like I said brings out the onion sweetness and brings out the corn sweetness in the corn and um, definitely a recipe to try please subscribe to my youtube channel um, and because I have other videos that come uh, that I'm going to be planning on bringing out so anyways thanks and enjoy the recipe I'll have the ingredients um, listed in the um, note box at on this YouTube channel thanks bye